Good morning, buongiorno CMC folks. Welcome to this new video experience. In uh, we are in uh, Sacro Bosco of Bomarzo. It's an incredible place. It's only one hour away from Rome, and um, is in the region of Lazio still, in the province of Viterbo. And uh, is a place where uh, we have this wonderful park, with this incredible statue made with basalt rocks three hectares of this park you can see is just a walkway through all of this area and it's a really interesting place because it was built in 1552 to from Pian Francesco Orsini from the Orsini family the same family that owned the Lake Bracciano castle and the Piero Ligorio was the architect that worked for him for build this beautiful park in uh, and uh, Piero Ligori was the same one they built the famous Villa d'Este in Tivoli. This park is really interesting because mix together the esoteric, the, the the incredible scenery, make you feel confused, like you are walking through something that you don't even believe what it is. And uh, it's renamed Parco dei Mostri, the Park of the Monster, because there are these huge a mango statue that during this walk you will meet like Hercules uh, and the big turtles uh, or a, a leaning house uh, in, in almost in the end of the of the walkway there is this big face that represents the entrance of the hell this is a mix of esoteric and realistic looks like the the visitors they go through these parks take at least an hour in the end in the end of the trip on the end of the walk walk to the door of the hell and go in another dimension follow me let's start to see it and we will stop by the most important attraction i will tell you more about it this is the kind of uh, structure and statue that we have in this kind of park of the monster again they are made with basalt rocks basalt and this statue represent Glauco. Glauco was the son of Poseidon and he eats some miraculous herb. He was transformed in a half man and half fish. And you can see on top of his head the big globe representing the world and the tower that is the crest of the Orsini family. This statue is like at the beginning of the park and represent like when you start you will be transformed in something in the end of the percourse of the itinerary. And let's see what we get transformed in. In front of us is the Colossus. It's called and represents the Hercules killing Kako. Kako was the bad guy. Hercules was the good guy. The good always wins against the bad. He's killing Kaku in this brutal way because he steals some cow from his property. Actually, was a good man, but he has to show what happened if you steal stuff from somebody else's property. And this is why he's doing that. Favorite sculpture in this park, the turtle. This huge big turtle, because the turtles represent the eternity, the stability. He's the only, one of the only animals in human history that never changed didn't have any kind of change all over these million years. It represents the authentic stability. But even the stability, the untouchable stability, can change in a second because if we move on the left slowly, you can see the turtle going down. She doesn't know what's gonna happen because she moves really slowly. But oh, she's just going to fall off in the mouth of the wells. Like, Nothing in life is like forever. Even the stability, the eternity can change and can finish in a second. Because you can see the arrow walking through the mouth of the well. To the leaning house of the park. It's a really cool construction. It was built this way will give you the idea of confusion when you walk in, even looking at 
make you feel like your head is spinning, like you are in another dimension. And we're gonna walk in and see how worse gets this feeling. We are at the beautiful masterpiece, the elephant holding a soldier. And the elephant represents Annibale when he crossed the Alps and came to Italy fighting Roman Empire. Roman soldier, Hannibal, and again the tower representing the Orsini family crest. This is a big fountain on the left side with this god of the water and two big, one big fish on the left, a dragon on the right. Killing the lions and the dogs. Like, like you can see it's really confusing like the house we walked through was your head starts to spin and you see this sculpture, this kind of big monsters and you just your mind just blows away. You are like in another dimension walking through this incredible park. Okay, this is the statue of Proserpina. Proserpina was the, the daughter of Mother Earth and she was raped from Pluto. It was the, the god of the infamy of the hell and she, he raped her take with him. And then her mother, she went to Zeus and ask him, I want my daughter back. It's not fair to Pluto. Rape her from me, take her away from me. And Zeus say, I cannot fight with Pluto. He's my brother, he's the the god of the of the hell. Let's make a deal. You can have her for six months, and he can have her for another six months. Then she accepted the deal better than nothing. And when she was used to go back to her mother, her mother for celebrate her, she start the spring. This is why spring and summer was the time that she was used to spend with her mom, the mother her, and the other six months with Pluto was fall and winter because her mom was sad because she was, she was away. This is where I, what I was looking for. Let's go there. This is the entrance of the hell. This is where we should get our transformation in something else. Let's go in and check a look. Around the door, there is a writing that says, leave everything out when you come in. Welcome in. I like you can hear. It's really a good aspect. It makes you feel like you are surrounded by something. And this is like a table in the middle. Probably the table where you eat your last supper before you go. But not really in terms of hell, it's just a figure thing. But when you talk loud, you can really hear something strange in your head. You should come and we should do this together. Ciao!